When my father first came to Los Angeles, it was 1939, he had a lot of leadership qualities. His value of Jewish education was prominent in his priorities. Rabbi Dolgan's philosophy and his passion were modern Orthodox Judaism and Zionism. Originally, the school was located in West Adams at Beth Jacob Congregation. Rabbi Dolgan was a visionary. He realized that the school had to be moved from West Adams. I remember stories told about him knocking on people's doors, trying to explain to them how important it was to send their children to Jewish education. And in 1954, he built Beth Jacob Congregation, the first Orthodox synagogue in Beverly Hills, and established the school in its basement. All right, Dolgan was unrelenting in his drive, and he found a great partner, Julia Sampson. My father was the only Orthodox attorney in Los Angeles in the 1940s. My father's involvement with the Jewish community catapulted him to the forefront of the community. Mr. Samson was very active. He was the vice president and then president of the shul for many years. I can picture him at this moment on the bima. Mrs. Samson was very active in the sisterhood and the PTA. She was president of the sisterhood, I believe, for many years. Every Jewish child whose family sought an Orthodox and Zionist education went to Hillel. When Sharon Beth and I were in school, the classes were small. The secular education was outstanding. Jewish studies were taught Ivrit Bivrit. I really learned Hebrew. The school was bursting at the seams. I vividly remember the day of the groundbreaking. My father and Rabbi Dolgan dancing together under the chuppah, walking from Beth Jacob to Hillel. It took a lot of years and a lot of hard work, and uh, Baruch Hashem. <laughs> Hillel was where I grew up. I didn't only go to school there, but I also attended camp in Camp Hillel and Shabbos's for B'nai Kiva. One of the most incredible memories I have in Hillel is Mrs. Tedetsky. She was an unbelievable woman. And Mr. Irons, my science teacher, who never made me dissect a frog. When I went to Hillel, the atmosphere was open, inclusive, warm. It felt like one big family. Rabbi Gottesman, Alava Shalom was such a special man. I remember him walking around the school and calling everybody his beautiful children. Rabbi Gottesman made sure that every Jewish child was able to get a Jewish education. When I was working as the regional director of NCSY, and Anne helped support the family, we had three children. We couldn't afford full tuition at Hillel. Rabbi Gottesman managed to work it out for us. I have tremendous Hakara Satov to Hillel and to Rabbi Gottesman. Rabbi Dolgin and Rabbi Gottesman were men who passionately loved all Jews. That was the foundation upon which they built Hillel, and it continues to be our mission today. Rabbi Safran is a unique individual. His passion and his leadership will take Hillel into the future. Hillel was a place of wonderful education, Zionism, and it's probably because of that background that I'm living in Israel today. Rifki and I are a great team. Our passions and our priorities are totally aligned. Donnie and I both knew after our first date that we were gonna get married. When I came to California, Donnie took me on a walk and he pointed out Beth Jacob to me, he pointed out Hillel. When Rifki and I moved back to LA and we needed to find a school for our kids, Hillel was the only choice. Hillel strives for each of its graduates to have a love of Torah, to have a love of Zionism, and to have good midot. And that really resonated with me. We empower our students to find their unique voice. We teach and inspire the next generation. We want them to dream and reach for the stars. I took Rifki on a tour of Hillel and I noticed the dedication. It was my parents dedicating the playground to my grandparents. The children's playing and the laughter that you hear when they're on the playground will become a permanent tribute. And I looked at Rifki and I said, look at that. There's nothing else we need to know. <laughs> this is our home. <laughs> when I see my grandchildren playing on the Hillel playground, that is the definition of kvelling. 
I heard from so many of Ima's friends how excited she was that Donnie and I were coming back to LA. She loved the Jewish community in LA. She loved Beth Jacobs. She loved Hillel. Ima would come to basketball games that Yoni and Tamar played in, so much so that we decided in her memory to donate a scoreboard. In our family, my parents were great role models, and they taught us, if you want to get it done, you go out and do it. My dad is very passionate about helping young kids out. All of the organizations that I'm currently involved with or passionate about revolve around kids. EULA, High Lifeline, Hillel, NCSY. It is just incredible how they've stepped up and become these community leaders. One of the areas that I'm truly passionate about in work and life is destinations to recovery. They are residential treatment centers for young kids ages 13 to 18 who are in crisis. When I wake up in the morning, I feel good because I know I'm making a difference in these kids' lives. Donnie and Rifki are not only a beautiful couple, but they've created a beautiful family. There is a true legacy at Hillel for the Samson family, starting with my grandparents who were honored by Hillel, my parents who were honored by Hillel, and now Rifki and I being honored by Hillel. The ultimate honor really belongs to Donnie. He is so proud to be a Hillel graduate and he is so proud to be following in the footsteps of his parents and his grandparents. Six decades of Samson family involvement for generations. Hillel gave me the tools that I needed to move forward in life, and I am deeply grateful to the school for that. If I was asked for a portrait of a Hillel graduate and a family, it would be Donnie and Rifki Samson. They embody our mission. They are committed to lifelong learning, to Zionism, and the State of Israel. They represent the best of what the Jewish people strive to achieve. My parents are compassionate, honest, and live with integrity, and I'm happy that they're being recognized for this. I love you, Mom and Dad. My mom and dad are my role models. They're amazing. Ima would have been so happy that Donnie and I are being honored by Hillel. And what's made me so proud of Donnie and Rifki is, they have not waited for me to pass the baton to them. They've grabbed the baton from me. I know my whole family went to Hillel, and I'm so happy to be here too. Next year, I'm going to be a Hillel graduate. That's pretty awesome. I'm also a Hillel graduate. I'm so happy my family's still involved because I want to send my kids to Hillel one day. Mommy and Daddy, I love you so much. Thank you for sending me to Hillel.